Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Peel Way video series. Uh, response to the Mr. Excel on Excel is Fun Trick 120. Uh, the video that just came out today, uh, summarized by week and month, monthly total. Uh, they were actually ask, answering a question that was sent by a YouTuber. Uh, I was wondering how I make Excel count or keep track on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. I am making a progress tracker on workouts. So he just want to get uh, statistical. Uh, data on his workout. He actually has this cute table here uh, that he actually uh, inputs his daily workout, his pull-ups. Uh, Bill and Mike, they both use uh, single cell range ranges, no pivot tables, but when you actually download the workbook you'll notice that on sheet number five uh, they actually, actually use the group, group function in the pivot table uh, so they're actually grouping here by each seven days. Uh, what I wanted to do is that I wanted to incorporate Power Pivot here and the best way to actually do that is by using a calendar table. Now let me introduce the calendar table here. Uh, what I created here is just a simple table that has this column for dates uh, which is just a unique uh, list of values for dates. Then I define the attributes on the other columns like for example uh, January the 4th was a Monday and what I have here is that the start date is basically uh, this date is a Monday so it's part of this week, week defined by a uh, date so each seven uh, set of dates is part of this set of uh, start date basically then I here define like, hey, uh, so this is the first week in 2010, this is the second one, and we go all the way. Uh, we actually define then here, okay, so this week was started in 2010, but if we actually go all the way down, if we actually go all the way down, 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 then we'll actually get to see here, when we actually get to see, uh, for example, uh, here, it was 2010, sorry, sorry, 2011, but it was a week for 2010. So basically, I was just defining uh, more attributes, more statistics based on this date. And then we actually have uh, the calendar year uh, that is part of this date, and then the month that this date is in. For example, for this, uh, it will be January. So I'm just using text to change the format so it will be much easier for us uh, to read. Once I actually have this calendar table here, all I do is that I just click where it says add to data model. It will bring up the power pivot window just like this one and then it will be uploaded or it will be linked here as a link table. As you can see I have it here. What I've done is that I actually use the other table that it was given by the YouTuber uh, here with the dates and the pull-ups and I link this date to this date right here so you can actually see that it has the relationship icon and after that what I did is that I go I went to the design tab mark as that table date table I'll mark as date table here sorry it's already uh, defined so basically it did ask for this what is the actual date column I said that hey is the date column that is actually defined as date. I clicked OK and that's pretty much it. Uh, when I actually have that done in the Power Pivot window, I go back here. Then I click here where it says insert pivot table. I want to use uh, connection. Choose connection. We're actually in Excel 2010. Tables in workbook data model. Okay, I want it here. I'm then going to do something real simple. I just want to put the pull ups there, and I'm going to put, let me see, I'm going to put month on the rows, week number, and also I'm going to put date. And the date I'm going to be making it way down here. I'm going to be something simple. I'm going to collapse that one. And you'll see why. 
we got a nice uh, pivot table here uh, which is basically telling me like for this uh, week number one on January is actually I did 500 sorry 589 pull-ups second week 440 third week 500 four week 296 you see here 53 but it's because this one was the 53rd week of 2012 and so that's why you actually see it like that but that's big that is that is actually basically it uh, uh, besides all of this uh, you can actually have a filter here uh, as date values uh, you, you want to just see a range instead of actually just looking at all the data you want to just filter it by let's say the week that was from this one all the way up to the end of February 28 and I see here and that is it let me know what you guys think